<laughs> Welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. Carol's here from the Artesia Senior Center. Good morning to you. Good morning, Gene. How are you? Well, we are... Uh, I can't believe it's Thursday already. The weeks just fly by. That's kind of what it... It was Tuesday all of a sudden, and then this morning I asked myself, is it really Thursday? <laughs> all of a sudden. It really is. <laughs> really is Thursday, so... Well, good. Well, good. Well, let's let's start looking at the schedule and okay. uh, give everybody an update. Here. My first thing I say every week, if you know the answer, you should be here helping me. <laughs> Painting 9 to 11 this morning. Okay. They'll be there shortly, starting to come in. Um, we have the exercise video available if anybody wanted wants to do that. Uh, bridge, 1 o'clock. And then this afternoon, that open art studio. And they stay in there. And it's for them. It's not the sewers. It's for the open art studio. But we do have the Swedish weaving. Uh, Lucy does take care of that and that class is growing a little bit oh good so she's in the other room doing the swedish weaving texas hold'em has still been outside so we're gonna see how this weather holds out well i think it's gonna be pleasant today i think uh, I'm yeah, for at... how long though is what i'm kind of concerned that's about that's true that's true but uh what time do they they're at they're uh, two, two o'clock it's gonna be 77 degrees so. no wind uh no wind. 77 when you're older is a little chilly. Okay. Yes. So if you're playing Texas Hold'em, bring your little jackets. Come have fun. Okay. And then the exercise video again at 4. Um, Friday, Creative Crafters, please come down and show them your new stuff. Stop telling me how cute it is and not bringing it down and showing me. <laughs> well, you should see this. It is so cute. It is so cute and so easy to make. I saw it on Pinterest, and I'm like, bring it down. <laughs> well, I can describe it to you. I'm not crafty. Bring it down. <laughs> so Yeah, that'd be great. I, I think I sees, eyes buys. Marketing 101, my marketing classes that I had taken. You know, if you see it. Mm -hmm. If it's available, they take it now. If they have to think about it, find it, it's not happening. Yeah. That's Carol. Bring it down and let us see it. Okay. Hand and foot. It's going great. We did have a person donate us a lot of cards, so we can now play two sets without even having to shuffle. Oh, good. Yes, that's pretty cool because it takes four to five decks to play one game. Okay. So we have hand and foot, 10 o'clock on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Bridge is 1 o'clock on Fridays, and it's out doors but last friday it was a little cool so they did wear their mask and come inside they just couldn't take that little bit of breeze so come on down bring your light jacket if you're going to stay outside because i haven't had to turn the fan on anybody here lately there you go uh sewing 1 we still have we're doing a, a lady brought in some blankets and they're making some light blankets for one of the local facilities here and like i told you last week it looks like a little sweatshop in there well they've <laughs> produced 13 of them already oh my goodness yes i'm very impressed yeah. so come see them come help them um did you mention bingo oh oh good night no <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I will ask for forgiveness. Uh, bingo, 130, the number one sport, I think, in our center. And it's a sport. It's not a game. Right, right. <laughs> but they do have fun. And I want to say thank you while we're talking about it to all the people that donate prizes to that. Okay. Uh, we do recycle prizes. I call it duster stuff. <laughs> you know, when you're cleaning the yep, house and yep. you don't want to dust that anymore, bring it down. We'll soap and water it and... Recycle and, and, it as a pie, and they get so excited. So. That's great. Um, let's see what we have. There we go. Back to Monday. Okay. Exercise video, and that exercise video is available all w Monday through Thursday. The group that came regularly since the COVID hasn't come in the morning. The group that was coming in the afternoon came even after we opened back up, but I don't know what happened. Mm. One of them got sick and the other one, so we're hoping everybody's healing and they can come back and enjoy it. Okay. But the Creative Crafters, again, bring it down, let us see it. <laughs> Nine o'clock on Monday, Train Dominoes. That is a game they really enjoy. One o'clock on Monday. Um, one o'clock is 42. 
they do play outside on the patio so they don't have to wear their mask. So I don't know what the weather is Monday, but, you know, with New Mexico, it could change any moment. Yep. Bring your light jackets. Um, no more beginning bridge. Okay. The, that's, that's, we're not doing that anymore. Okay. If somebody absolutely comes and wants to know something, I get out the rule book and the rule sheet, and we sit down and teach them that. But Okay. Um, sewing again at 1.30 on Mondays. Exercise video at 4.00. It just sounds like I'm repeating. <laughs> Tuesdays, woodworking. Now, that is Dan, uh, Stan comes down, and that room is kept locked. We don't open it up for safety reasons. I mean, there's equipment I don't even know how to use. I'm not going to take you out there and fire it up because I, <laughs> I took shop, and I was in shop about two weeks before we moved. So I didn't get anything except a little test on what the verbiage is. No, oh, okay. So I can't even help you with that. But it's 9 o'clock on Tuesdays, and what Stan is always willing to help. He's not willing to do it, but he's willing to help. The line dancers at 9.30, and then bridge at 1, ceramics and sewing. Now, that's an interesting class, paint and material. Mm-hmm. So it's not two different classes. It's two different classes in the same room at in one the same time. Room. Gotcha. Okay. So they're painting ceramics, and we're painting those for a local facility mm -hmm. to try to give us some Christmas presents. Uh, so if you want to come help with that, we have all the bisqueware, all the paint. You just need to bring some paintbrushes. Okay. And you can come help them. Um, there will be no stained glass next Tuesday. So okay, that's right. We have that down on the calendar. Gene will be reminding everybody of that. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, okay, our takeoff pounds sensibly tops. The group actually grew a new member. I was very proud of them. So they meet on Wednesdays, come in at 9, and it's not a 9 to 11 set thing. It's 9 o'clock. They weigh in, and then they have their meeting, share their recipes, so it's to when they finish. Okay. Jewelry class is fun. They're, ma they're making these, like, Christmas beaded ornaments right now. Okay. Really cute. So jewelry class is at 9.30 on Wednesday. Beginning line dancers is at 9.30. Everybody knows where to meet Kay. 1 o'clock, wood burning. That is Vicki. She comes down. She doesn't want to teach, but the girl really knows how to do that wood burning. <laughs> she has a talent, and then she can do the wood burning and then paint on it. Okay. So she's multi-talented there. Um, bridge again and train dominoes at 1 o'clock on Wednesdays. And then sewing again. On uh, so Wednesday afternoon. On Wednesday afternoon. Okay. So the, the main highlight, no sewing uh, no stained glass no st class on Tuesday. From their calendar that they received in the mail or that's on, um, and Jean will change it here when y'all announce it, but mm -hmm. on the PVT st set station, mm -hmm. it's going to show there is, but there's not. There's not. So. Okay. And then, uh, of course, the beginning bridge, no beginning bridge on, on uh, Mondays. Right. So. And I need to throw this out, Jean. Sure. If you're in the Moose Lodge and you know when y'all's dinner's going to be and you want it on our calendar, I need somebody to call the Senior Center ASAP. Oh, okay. Because they have dinners from time to time for the, the seniors. Usually the first Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. So our number there is 575-748-1207. Yeah, just uh, let them know. Yes, give us a call. Okay. Hey, you made an interesting week at my house this week. I did. Yes, my grandkids were thinking their papa was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was your husband was our fan of the week yes. this past week, and uh, he was very enjoyable to interview. But I told him that you knew about the gift card from the Adobe Rose that he couldn't, you know. He walked into my office and chunked it down on my desk <laughs> and said, Gene said you already know about this. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin his. Uh, maybe that oh. was going to be your birthday present. No, or no, no, no. It was going to be him sneaking. No, he would take me. But <laughs> he thought that was kind of funny that he got ratted out. But he was real proud about his cup. That night when I got home, he said, well, I have something you don't know about. I said, okay, what do you need? He's 
using his little cup. It's really nice. Yeah, it is very nice. It's and a so nice cup. I'm, I'm interviewing this week's fan of the week here uh, uh, right after we the show. Look. So, yeah, that cl- I need to get a new clock. But, uh, yeah, look, appreciate him doing that. And uh, you guys enjoy those uh, enjoy those gifts there. And so. we're going to clear, clear up his story. Okay. We were married. Because <laughs> he kind of left the impression that you were... Chasing yes, him. Yes, that's what he said. We lived at 4201 on... <laughs> had a kid in high school here. <laughs> I was like, dude. He was like, oh, oh. <laughs> But the story sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> he enhanced it a little yes. bit. So there you I go. I think he had forgot or maybe he was hoping. <laughs> that, that he was a catch. Yes. <laughs> yes. I wasn't going to say it, but you did. So I'm going to agree. <laughs> well, that's great. But he is a Bulldog fan. When he told me we could drive up there to the state finals, leave there at 10, 11 o'clock at night, and drive to Las Vegas all night, mm-hmm. I was like, no. <laughs> I just sold the tickets. <laughs> Uh, no. Well, do you have a do you have a riddle for I me? I do. It's not a riddle. It's the football brain strainers. Okay. Okay. A seven forty seven. What football team is that? The New York Football Jets. Awesome. Blackbirds. The Baltimore Ravens. Good job. Dollar in a can. Dollar in a can. I had to think about that one for a second. Dollar in a can. It's not the forty ers It's the. Uh, the Nickelbacks, the uh, the Come on. the. Did I stump Gene? Hey, we got six seconds. The Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Time for the news. Capitol Hill Hot Chicken.